In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on the imposition of per unit tax on supply function. The question is the demand for lemonade is being given as yes, QD is equal to 100 minus P, where P is the price and supply function is being given as yes, QS is equal to 10 plus 2P. The government leaves a sales tax on lemonade after which the volume of sales drops to 60. Then we have to find out the per unit tax on lemonade. That is $20, $15, $10, $10 or $5. Also, we have to find out the tax burden here. Okay. So what we are being given, we are being given the quantity demanded for lemonade is being given as 100 minus P. Okay. And quantity supplied for lemonade is being given as 10 plus 2P. First, we will find out the equilibrium price and quantity before the imposition of sales tax so let's draw a simple graph here quantity on horizontal side and price on vertical side so this is our demand function so if we draw the graph of this it will look like this downward sloping demand function with price intercept is 100 and quantity intercept will be also 100 okay when you solve for p and q you will get this thing and we have also the supply function here uh, it will look like this it will be upward sloping uh, supply function okay now what happens at equilibrium quantity demanded will be equal to quantity supplied which implies 100 minus p should be equal to 10 plus 2p which gives us solving for p we have uh, this becomes 3p should be equal to 90 which implies our p will be equal to 30 okay corresponding to this 30 what will be the equilibrium price simply sorry equilibrium quantity simply plug p is equal to 30 either in demand or supply function that means let's put it in demand function that means equilibrium quantity will be equal to 100 minus in place of p we have 30 so this gives us 70 okay so initially equilibrium <coughs> sorry <coughs> equilibrium uh, you know quantity is 70 and equilibrium price is 30 okay having said that the question tells us the government uh, you know imposes a sales tax on lemonade after which the volume of sales drops to 60 okay so first uh, what happens when government imposes per unit tax we know that a supply function is simply the marginal cost function of a firm okay when per unit tax is being imposed that means the cost of production will increase okay that means our marginal cost of production will increase which means our supply curve will shift leftwards we will be you know supplying less when sales tax is being imposed let us say s dash is the new supply function okay and we are being told that the volume of sales has uh, you know dropped to 60 let us say this happens at this point okay 60 now you can see here corresponding to this 60 what is the demand okay to find the price here uh, you know to find the new price that the consumers will pay simply put uh, you know we have this demand function qd is equal to 100 minus p and we are being told that sales has dropped to 60 so in place of q we will write 60 is equal to 100 minus p which implies our new price will be equal to 100 minus 60 is 40 okay so the price that uh, you know the consumers will pay will be equal to 40 now corresponding to this uh, what will be the price that sellers will receive so we know that when quantity drops to 60 okay it will uh, intersect this supply function at this point so we need to uh, you know solve this for the ordinal supply function so our original supply function is being given as is, uh, you know, Q S is equal to 10 plus 2P. And we know that 
sales has dropped from 70 to 60 so in place of this q we will have 60 should be equal to 10 plus 2p solving for p so 60 minus 10 is 50 is equal to 2p which gives us p is equal to 25 okay so you can see here price that sellers will receive will be equal to 25 dollars so what we have initially initially supply and demand intersected at this point equilibrium quantity was 70 equilibrium price was 30 when per unit tax was imposed so this actually we need to find out we uh, you know this vertical distance this vertical distance and the plausible thing to find it is, is at this point we have found out this vertical distance okay so the gap between these two you know parallel uh, supply functions will be the per unit tax and here you can see this gap is 40 minus 25 so this will be the per unit tax that means and i can uh, write it here so uh, you know tax will be equal to 40 minus 25 which comes out to be uh, that comes out to be 15 that means per unit tax would have been 15 okay and you can see here uh, obviously uh, consumers are paying okay uh, consumers pay you know forty dollars after the imposition of per unit tax uh, sellers receive receive only twenty five dollars okay that means uh, T will be equal to what consumers pay minus what uh, you know seller is received that is 40 minus 25 which comes out to be 15 now we can also find out the tax revenue tax revenue is simply so if i write it here let's denote tr is tax revenue okay or simply tax revenue tax revenue is simply equal to the tax rate times the quantity transacted new quantity that is being transacted is 60 uh, tax rate is 15 that means we have 15 into uh, you know 60 so we have this is 0 so 6 5s are 30 6 ones are 6 7 8 9 so tax revenue will be equal to 900 or tax burden is 900 here okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you